Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Marvel Legends series Venom movie action figure. I absolutely love this figure and I think you will too, so let's get right into it right now. To start off, we're going to look at Venom's accessories, which he comes with a lot of. He has two head sculpts, one with the tongue out and the mouth open, which looks very good, very cool, I like it a lot. One with his mouth closed and his teeth showing, he's smiling. These are both outstanding head sculpts. I love these very, very much. They're amazing. They're, they're wonderful. And he also comes with two sets of hands, regular fisted hands with the veins coming in. Those look very good. And some open grabby hands, which also look very good with the veins. Uh, he, got, he comes with a good amount of accessories. I really like the accessories he comes with. Uh, I think that's great. All right, now let's look at the actual Venom figure himself. He looks amazing. He's really big, too. He's a bulky figure. And... Oh my god, I love the veins coming out here. It's really well detailed. It goes in the back. I kind of wish it continued sparsely throughout the body, like maybe going down the legs. I think that would be cool. But I guess they went for more movie accurate. I haven't seen the movie in a while. But I absolutely love the look of this figure. It's amazing. The arms look great. Like the, the Oh my god. It, it, I can't say enough about it. I don't know how they took two colors and made it this good. Black and I don't know, silver or white, whatever that is. It's amazing. I really like it. There's not much to really go over, except uh, the veins continue down here on his arms on either side, and they both match up with the hands, which I like a lot. Come up here, and uh, let's do a quick head swap. That that looks really good. I really like it. I kind of prefer the closed mouth. I'm not gonna lie. I really like I really like the closed mouth better, but the tongue it just oh my god, it's so good. This is really an outstanding figurine. I really like it a lot. Okay, let's get right into the articulation of this piece. So the heads are the exact same. They have the same joints, so you can look up that much. You can look down. You can go left and right. You can go side to side a bit. Not much back and forth, as in this. The arms are on ratchet joints, so they you can hear that. Yeah, like that, but they can go full 360. Go up, they go down. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and the wrists turn and hinge. The ab, the abdomen, can crunch back that much, crunch forward that much, and this part goes side to side and you get some back and forth. I'll have a little 360 there. Legs can go out that far, they go back and go forward that far, back a little bit, upper thigh cut, double joint knees, and the ankles go down that far, they go up, and he has ankle pivot. Also, another thing to mention, he does not have pegs at the bottom of his feet. Now for the height of this Venom figure, he comes in, it's a little hard to see, but he comes in right at about 7 inches, which is very tall for a Marvel Legends. That is Marvel Select height standard. Now for a couple height comparisons, we have him right next to the big time Spider-Man with the uh, black and green suit. And to put him next to my two Spider-Man Marvel Select pieces, we have the Iron Spider from Infinity War and Marvel PS4 Spider-Man from the video game. Now to get my final thoughts on this piece, I love it. I can't say anything bad about it. I really do, I really like this figure. It might be my favorite uh, Marvel Legends to come out of 2020. There was a lot of good ones, but this, I think it's my favorite one. The um, only like nitpicky thing in this one is just, I think I would have liked it better if the veins connected here. You can kind of see if the veins connected all the way down to the arm instead of just stopping here. I think that would have looked cool, but that, that's like the only thing I probably would have done like if I was in charge of making this. But again, I think it's for movie accuracy, and I would have to look at a picture of Venom again. But I'm going to give this like a solid, like, like probably like a 9 out of 10. 9 or 10 out of 10. One of those two. Let's go with 10 out of 10. Solid 10 out of 10. I really like this. It's, it's really amazing. And I really like that he can hold up Spider-Man here. Or any Marvel legend if the neck is big enough. He can hook the thumb underneath the head scope right there. You can kind of see it. Here. Yeah, you got to hook the thumb right under the head sculpt. And then you can kind of just hold them up. And if you balance the ankles correctly, you can't knock this over. But that's it. So thank you all so much for watching. I know it's been a while. Uh, no excuse for that. It's just been a while. So um, let me know what you think in the comments section. Please like and subscribe. And have a great day. Thank you for nerding out with me. And I'll see you later. Goodbye.